What's going on, everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide, back with day 30 of the 31 Days of Horror. I can't believe that we've already came to the end of this month. Today, we are going to talk about a film from 1979, directed by Lucio Fulci, and that is Zombie. One of my favorite, uh, you know, not only just zombie film, but horror film in general. I think it's really fantastic. Watched this countless times with my dad back in the day. And, uh, you know, showed my brother, showed Kayla. Like, I've, I've made pretty much everyone watch this film that hangs out with me, especially back in the days of the garage because, you know, we would just throw a tape in and everyone would be getting drunk and stoned and stuff on, like, a Friday night and just having a having a Fulci flick on the back. I, I, watched, I made people watch a lot of crazy shit. Man, this, this poster is not only, like, burned into my memory, but just like the sound and like the look of the grit of the dryness of these fucking zombies like you look at dawn of the dead obviously the zombies are pretty fresh like there's none that are really like totally decaying but every zombie in this like just looks like it's been dead for like i don't know like a year or some shit and just gross like this the like the the zombie of the poster art and like one of the most notorious zombies of the film but not my favorite zombie in the film um has like this really cool look really cool sound like looks dirty looks like it's been bare like it's it's the skeleton you know what i mean like this is like basically the outline of a skeleton and it's it's interesting to think like how, how do these zombies like work without eyes you know and it's just crazy like this guy's teeth are so fucked i actually drew this uh in in ballpoint pen like a few years ago and then i actually spray painted it in uh, an abandoned fucking candy factory nonetheless or no less but um this movie is burned into my memory, like I said. Me and my dad watch it a bunch of times. Uh, I told the story countless times where, like, we watched Zombie and then immediately after watched his copy of Zombie 2, which was that fucking movie again. And uh, that was when I really, probably the first exposure I had to films being named other things, you know, because uh, I, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but a lot of foreign films do that. They have multiple titles. Like, uh, I believe Tenenbrae is listed in the Leonard Malton book as Unsane. And uh, certain films are not even in Leonard Malton that, like, you'd think would be in there. But maybe if you got an older copy. I mean, the copy I have is from 05. So you're kind of... The copies that, that, I, that my dad had when I was a kid, he had, like, 97, 98. So there was a lot of different stuff in there. I don't even think Zombie's in there. Or maybe it is, but it's, I think it's Bomb. It's, it's listed as a Bomb, which is insane. Um... Uh, but, you know, to each his own. I don't, I have a lot of arguments with Leonard Malton in my bathroom while taking fucking shits while reading the Leonard Malton fucking guide and being like, dude, what are you talking about? Or like, dude, I totally agree. You know what I mean? But um, we're going to talk about Zombie. One of my favorite parts in Zombie is uh, the opening, like where the, the boat is like, you know, abandoned in the middle of this New York river. And these two cops board it. They search the place. It's all like disarray. There's all kinds of gross stuff everywhere. And then they stumble across uh, this fucking like fat zombie who just like comes out of a back room, busts out, kills a fucking cop. And uh, just it's a crazy, like disgusting, like the makeup effects are like none other. Like there's there's no other makeup effects like these. There's a movie called Burial, Burial Ground where the zombies look pretty fucking good and dry, like dry rotted. And same with those Tombs of the Blind Dead like films. Those are pretty like dry rot looking zombies too. Um, but he he just like looks so badass. I actually considered being him for Halloween one time. He's kind of like a Homer Simpson looking motherfucker. Uh, but I think it would be cool. And I love like his death like falls off the, the boat and all that shit. And that's like how the fucking movie opens. And that's what made it's so deadly to me the first time I watched it. Like I always, when I think about movies like this, like that I love, like I always think about like, the first time I watched it and how exciting it was. Like the first time I watched Kill Bill, I was like, dude, this is fucking incredible. I couldn't tell you the first time I watched Good, the Bad and the Ugly. And I can't tell you the first time I watched The Thing or Omega Man or like Frankenstein or Dracula or anything like that. But first time I watched Zombie, I remember being like, dude, this is fucking insane. And uh, I probably didn't say that. I was probably like, wow, this is great. You know, or maybe not so fucking nerdy, but you get the idea. Um, so you get that cool opening with the fat zombie. Of course, you get like a bunch of like downtime in the, in the film with like human humans that you don't really give a fuck about. You just kind of want to get to the action. But uh, they end up going to this island called Matul. Like there's this journalist. There's, uh, you know, the daughter of the abandoned boat. Like like the guy that was driving the abandoned boat, his daughter's like looking for him and all this shit. And they get a, a chartered boat with like this one dude 
and his girlfriend and they have like the iconic scene underwater like with the zombie versus the shark very iconic scene um not my favorite scene in the film again like when i think of this movie i think of that fucking fat zombie on the boat uh, just because it's so badass, but you know the, the zombie versus shark is obviously cool I'm not fucking saying I don't like that I'm just saying that I think when people think of this movie That's the scene they think of when there's stuff that I think is more scary or more horrifying or whatever, you know um, But to each his own again You get like the iconic uh, interaction between the cover art zombie and uh, our group of characters Which is just like an unreal moment you get so many other crazy uh like twisted scenes in this movie like one of the most uh the other one that really sticks out in my mind is the girl that gets like the shred of like wood from the door like stuck in her eye like that's fucking crazy man i always thought that was fucking twisted and that's one thing like it's no shit like with these italian flicks like a lot of these guys like love filming eyeballs and another guy that filmed an eyeball in a very iconic way was toby hooper in texas chainsaw massacres what the fuck do you think about that um love that shit man and even in what the fuck opera like full cheese or uh argento has like a shot of a fucking crow's eye it's crazy shit i love like the showdown at the end of this film uh where they're like throwing malta of cocktails and shit like that oh a, a, a fucking underrated or an underused weapon in movies like the only movies i can really think of that use those good are like the warriors this one and um and even like the ass end of this movie even the very end of this film is really fucking cool where they have all these zombies walking across the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, really cool stuff. That's actually on the poster of the DVD that I have. Uh, like, I'd rather have that image, obviously. And I know that I think Blue Underground put out like a bunch of different covers of zombie, which is cool for like the collector, you know, like the collector aspect of it. But uh, I never, I didn't jump on that opportunity. Maybe I should have, but you know, I got a copy. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly fine with just throwing in the fucking VHS uh, like if I'm like throwing it in like in my room like I might even throw that movie in again tonight just to like kind of fall asleep to just because I'll I know I at least get to see my fat zombie dude uh, but yeah man I appreciate everybody for watching this has been day 30 we got one more day left and I'm gonna end it with a fucking absolute classic I wouldn't you know I wouldn't do you wrong like hats off to everybody and uh, with that being said make sure you leave a 666 in the comments and this is an exact reason why I shouldn't get really baked before I make these videos because I feel like I had to fucking edit the shit out of this one, man. Or I know I'm going to have to fucking edit the hell out of it, so we'll see what happens. Either way, uh, this, is, uh, this is Ricky. Adios.